today we're here with a six month old um, that is deceased. These children are bearing the burden and the pain of adults who are choosing to use guns to solve disputes. Of an 11 month old child who was shot in the head and the buzz bullet exited. 11 month old. We've lost too many children to violence in Chicago. Too many. This tragedy sitting on top of so many others has scarred and broken the heart of our city. These are uh, sociopathic killers uh, that have to be sequestered from society. All right, Uncle Junior, need you to take on another video. But before that, as always, welcome back to the folks tuning in and welcome to the first timers. No doubt, nephew, welcome to another Uncle Junior episode. Be sure to drop a comment, hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. Now, what video are we taking on today, nephew? Sociopathic killers, Uncle Junior. The killer thugs and gangbangers who continue to wreak havoc in communities across the country. A six-month-old baby boy struck by a stray bullet riding in the backseat of his mother's car in Atlanta, Georgia. An 11-month-old baby girl also struck by a stray bullet in the face while parked in a car in the Bronx, New York. And an eight-year-old girl killed, shot in the head, while walking, holding her mother's hand in Chicago, Illinois. No safe space from the shooters, Uncle June. You're right, nephew. The most precious and defenseless among us, our children. Even they get no exemption from the ruthless shooters. Their violent nature, their indifference to killing another human being, is the social evil engulfing this country and the true public health crisis. There is no comparison. Let's check it out. Six month old baby shot and killed. Atlanta police make an arrest as the family mourns the senseless loss of Grayson Matthew Fleming Gray. Police say that they now have the man in custody who murdered that baby. We have learned that that man has a long, extensive criminal record. Less than 24 hours after six-month-old Grayson was shot and killed, Atlanta Police Chief Rodney Bryant announced the arrest of 22-year-old murder suspect DeQuazy Jonathan Little. I want this to be a message just not to him, but everyone that was involved on yesterday that we are still early in this investigation. And anybody who think they will commit violence in our city, we coming at you with everything we got. Several state and local law enforcement agencies assisted APD in apprehending the suspect who was arrested in DeKalb County today. Little has an extensive criminal record. He was recently released from the Houston County Jail on battery and child cruelty charges, is currently on probation on an aggravated assault charge in Fulton County, and is out on bond on a misdemeanor charge in Clayton County. He also has a case pending out of Peach County on a theft charge. I'm mad as hell that the incident occurred in the first place. We're in a place where violence in our major cities and throughout our country has gotten out of control. And that's a fact. Out of control violence in these major cities and what do they all have in common? A deadly thug and gang population making life hell for all who live within their midst. And this 22 year old is the prototypical menace to society. Young with an already extensive criminal history who has managed to evade lockup to the detriment of this little baby boy. It's the same old sad song from Atlanta to New York City. There was a vigil held for the baby girl struck in the face by a bullet earlier this week. That baby was supposed to be celebrating her first birthday today. Instead, she's in the hospital. We want to stop what's on the street, and damn it, we want to stop it from coming on our streets. Why are there so many guns in our community? Despite the bitter cold, Mayor Adams, elected officials, and community members packed together on this corner tonight to hold a vigil for baby Catherine. She underwent brain surgery today for a gunshot wound on her first birthday. This is the message to you. Turn yourself in. Community, if you know who he is, Turn him in! Because baby Catherine didn't deserve that, and we're here for her. 
The hunt continues for the gunman in this surveillance video from Wednesday night. He's seen running through the streets of the Fordham section of the Bronx, chasing after another man and spraying bullets recklessly. That's when baby Catherine was struck in the face while sitting in a parked car with her mother. A police source tells Fox 5 it appears the two men were in a turf war over drugs. We can't do it if we don't get the help we need on the federal level to go after these gun dealers that are openly selling guns and finding their way into our communities. With all due respect, Mr. Mayor, the guns aren't the evil here. The evil are the thugs behind the gun. So the question is not why are there so many guns in your community. The question is why are there so many thugs on the streets of your community? Where's the breakdown there? Why are these criminals with extensive criminal records not behind bars? Is it soft on crime policies? Now we know that these liberal cities have a soft spot for criminals. So much so that they elect progressive district attorneys who are more concerned with reimagining the criminal justice system, thereby not prosecuting certain crimes which results in emboldened criminals. Less punishment and more crime and more shootings from New York to Chicago. I lost my princess. She was the reason why I got up every morning. Heartbreaking words from the mother of eight-year-old Melissa Ortega, read by the family's pastor. The case capturing national attention. And today, police announced two arrests in the case. The gunfire, the result of an apparent gang shooting, and now a 16-year-old and another man are charged with murder. The teen's name is not being released. Investigators used surveillance video to track down the car used in the shooting. That car was found Monday with the gun that police say was used to kill Ortega still inside. Nate Rogers live for us tonight with more on these developments. Nate. Two men now in custody facing first-degree murder and weapons charges. The suspected gunman, a 16-year-old, who according to sources was released off electronic monitoring weeks ago following arrest for robbery and carjacking. Also charged, 27-year-old Xavier Guzman, who police say drove the getaway car. This was a 16-year-old uh, making such a tragic decision that would affect the rest of his life. Superintendent David Brown said the 16-year-old was dropped off and began shooting at three gang members Saturday just before 3 p.m. here in Little Village. A 29-year-old intended target was struck in the back. Eight-year-old Melissa Ortega was shot standing a block away from where gunshots emerged. As a mother myself, it's hard for me to imagine the pain that Araceli feels that will haunt her, no doubt, for the rest of her days. The parking lot outside Walniak Funeral Home remained full during Melissa's wake. The eight-year-old loved to dance and was the light of her family. Meanwhile, State's Attorney Kim Fox saying more talks need to be had on violence prevention and accountability. If we do not have resources and outlets for young people who are involved, um, whether they're caught in the criminal justice system or not, we will continue to see engagement like this. The tragic death of this eight-year-old girl should be the long overdue wake-up call for the city of Chicago and its elected officials. Mayor Lightfoot should cancel her declaration of racism as a public health crisis and replace it with the true health crisis, sociopathic thug gang violence. Not to be confused with gun violence. That's a cop-out. Call it like it is. And DA Kim Fox. This should be her wake-up call to fulfill her duty as the top law enforcement official. No more progressive experiments at the expense of law-abiding citizens. Prosecute criminals to the fullest extent of the law. Soft on crime policies is a fool's endeavor and a betrayal to the citizens of Chicago. And speaking of the citizens, from Atlanta to New York to Chicago and all other cities across this country, the change starts with you. When you support these pie-in-the-sky liberal progressive criminal policies like bail reform and all those other progressive utopian ideas, you're putting criminals first and the safety of you and yours last. You see, criminals who should be behind bars are instead in your neighborhoods wreaking havoc. So don't sacrifice your children for the sake of the social justice cause. 
The killings of these children and all the others before them should be your wake-up call. If it isn't, then there's no one to blame but you. So wake up and save your children. Mm -hmm.